Who says a podcast needs to be on one topic? Why not all the topics? Join my sister Megan and my sister Michelle as we drink wine, occasionally knit, definitely argue, and delve into whatever is on our minds. Welcome to the Swinging Gates Podcast, a podcast about almost nothing. Get Get ready ready for for the the whiplash. podcast. Uh, Megan and I are sisters and we decided it would be super fun to do a podcast about the fact that we're sisters and sound exactly the same. Very the same. It would be really fun to confuse our audience to see if they can figure out whose voice is whose. I can't figure out whose is whose. I can kind of figure it out only because I know which parts I was saying in the (laughs) intro. (laughs) That's very true. Although when we first listened to the intro, um, I thought the very first voice was me even though i knew it was you yeah i could hear my voice yeah <clears throat> we sound exactly like and the worst part is we sound exactly like our mother too yeah but you more so like mom than yeah me. yeah yeah i am becoming our mother that is a Sorry. thing that is happening uh-huh. so anyway, anyway um why don't we like kind of introduce each other to our imaginary audience hello imaginary audience i am megan this is megan i am michelle that's michelle Yo. Um, I am the older sister. I was born in 1983. Megan is the younger. 86. She is a child. I'm not that much of a child. No, we just revealed how old we actually are. And it's eh. painful. Not when um, <laughs> when Megan was born, I, um, I wanted a dog, <laughs> but I got a sister instead. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, uh, one of my clearest memories is um, uh, mom and dad had you laid down on their bed and we were looking at you and I'd, either we hadn't named you yet or they hadn't told me your name yet. I don't know. I was mom and dad and told me they thought on the way to the hospital what my name was. Yes, they did. <clears throat> um, mom won. Yes. And um, I wanted to name you Poop or Pee. Are you serious? Yes. I wanted to name you Poop or Pee. <laughs> Because I was three years old and <laughs> apparently had just discovered poop and pee was a, a thing and words that could be said. And so you needed to be poop or pee. And you've shit all over my life since then. So. Hello. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I'm Whatever. kidding. Um, even though I hated you as a kid, you're my best friend now. Aww. And don't get all sappy. It only happened because you went to college. Yes. Well, once you turned 18 and stopped being a little bitch. Oh, uh, by the way, parental advisory for explicit language. <laughs> oh, yeah. We should, uh... We say fuck a lot. A lot. Sorry, Mom and Dad. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> if you ever wind up listening to this podcast, yes, we know you ra- you raised us much better than this. You did. However, we are adults now, and we can say whatever we, we want. We can say what we want! Don't yell at us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, so, getting off topic. Yeah, anyway, so, um... Just a little bit more about growing up with Megan. I hated you so much. There was this one point when I was really little, and I don't know what you'd done. Like, you'd pulled my hair, or you took my toys or something. And according to mom, I told them I was going to pack my little toys and pack my little panties and run away to Grammy's house. Oh, that's okay. I mean, I kind of did the same thing. You actually did it. I actually did. Well, I didn't actually (laughs) run away. Um, I had all my toys and clothes in a blanket. It was hilarious. And um, I (laughs) called Grammy and said, I'm coming to live with you. And she said, okay. (laughs) Obviously, it didn't didn't happen because my Uh, dad called her back. And and said, don't you dare. Don't you dare come and get her. Come get this child. Uh, I don't even remember what was going on. I was probably. You were fighting with mom like you've always fought with mom. Yeah, I don't know what from I was about thinking. the age of when you could learn to when you learned to talk to about I don't know now ish or no 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 you got, you and mom stopped fighting about high school age which is when me and mom started really fighting fun times good cool. times yeah our poor mother <laughs> our poor mother our poor mother she raised strong independent women and she didn't realize that would backfire on her so hard <laughs> <laughs> we love you mom sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, Megan was a pain in the ass growing up. You got me into trouble all the time. And you I stole did. my stuff. Yeah, but it was your own fault that you got into trouble. It's because you would be like, she, she was like that little devil on your shoulder that would sit there and just <laughs> whisper shit. 
Oh yeah, I'm a redhead. Oh. I'm a redhead, so that yeah, helps. she is. I'm so jealous of your hair. I was so jealous growing up because you got so much attention for your beautiful red hair. And is it Megan? Just so beautiful. Look at that red hair, and it's just so gorgeous. Nah, 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 nah. Fuck I you. Dyed it purple. Yeah, it is purple now. Well, parts of it. <laughs> parts of it. Yeah, but I didn't like my hair growing up. I was teased. Carrot top was a big one. Um, stepchild. Red-headed stepchild. Red-headed stepchild. We still maintain that you don't have a soul. Even though you died one. <coughs> yeah, that's right. Compliment. I bought one. You bought one. <laughs> so, ha. Yeah, yeah. But I'm pretty sure you still have shit that you've stolen from me. Like, if I were to go through your book and DVD collection, I'm sure I would find stuff that's mine. Um, if I were to go through your closet, I'm sure I would find stuff that's no, mine. No, not anymore. Lies. Not anymore. I gave you back those stuff. Liar. <laughs> that one time, um, I I borrowed that garnet like over. Oh, that, that, yeah, my garnet sweater. Yeah, I love that. Thing. And I I didn't know what the hell happened to it. It was gone for like a month. I'm like, what the hell happened to my sweater? I made I was, the mistake of wearing so... it over to her house one day, and she basically ripped it off. My I was like, my there's body. my sweater. What do you think you're doing, you bitch? And she was like, oh, I just borrowed it. I did. I was like, what? She's like a month ago. <laughs> I didn't think you'd mind. <laughs> yeah. You gave it back to me though. I did. I did give it to you officially because yeah. you liked it so much. Exactly. That's about when we started becoming friends. Once I went to college and, and you hit high school and matured a lot. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Matured. 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 Anyway. So. Yeah, but then she decided uh, she was going to move to Japan. I did. For a year to teach English. I did. Um, and then she... Um, Moved back to, and then she moved back, went to Arizona. I graduated high school and I went to college in Arkansas. And then after I graduated college, again, I followed her. Yeah, she followed me. I followed her. Yeah, I do. I followed you out to Arizona. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then she left me. I did. Uh. I randomly decided to move to Arkansas, like literally on a whim. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Megan, uh, Merry Christmas. I'm moving to Arkansas. And she was like, You. Yeah, oh, I was she a mess. She was so mad at me. I was such a mess. Yeah, your husband yelled at me. Good. Well you, well, you can't see the look I'm giving her right now, but it's a cross between glare and something. It just... Uh, well... Anyway. <clears throat> anyway, I she, followed her back out to Arkansas because I've always wanted to live here anyway. And my husband wanted to as well. And it just kind of worked out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, And then we wound up moving to the same city. Well, we told you to finally move to the same to the same. Well, yeah, to. you told us to move to Fayetteville, and we did. Yep, and exactly. Fayetteville, Arkansas, is pretty awesome. It's like the one spot of blue in a sea of red. Uh huh. We're doing our best, guys. We're doing our best. So doing okay. Anyway, so uh, some stuff that Megan and I have in common. We um we used to watch anime together all the time, specifically uh, <clears throat> Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon, and Fruits Basket. I got you into Fruits Basket. Yes, you did. And to this day, because every time we watched Fruits Basket, we would order Chinese food. To this day, when I watch Fruits Basket, I want sweet and sour chicken. <laughs> I love sweet and sour it's chicken. It's like this Pavlovian, Pavlovian, it, fuck me. <laughs> I don't even know what you're saying, so. <laughs> Pavlov's dogs, the Pavlovian, Pavlovian response. I she fruit, salivates, basically. I salivate <clears throat> when Fruits Basket comes on and I want sweet and sour chicken. Yes. But it was really Sailor Moon that really brought us yeah. together. We both love Sailor Moon. I love Sailor Moon. Read all the manga. Fighting evil by moonlight. We do not own the rights to that nope. music. <laughs> we are just nerdy, nerdy fangirls. We try. We do. I follow a lot of fan art on Instagram for Sailor Moon. Yeah, and we me share too. it with each other all the time, and it's always funny because I'll love a picture, and like two seconds later, Megan will like have sent it to me, like Michelle, you have to see this. I'm like, I just love. Oh, you did the same thing. Yeah, we do the same. Yeah, I, I switch it back up on her. Mm-hmm. But wow, talk about whiplash. What about whiplash? <laughs> We've gone through how many freaking topics? I don't know. And I don't even know how long. It's we are been. not kidding about whiplash. Oh, nine minutes. Nine minutes. How many topics have we done? <laughs> Um, I don't know. I don't know. We can't I showed you your first hentai. I or did you steal it? No, I I went up into your room. You found it in my room. That's right. That was weird. I had a hentai and Megan found it and watched it, and so I exposed her inadvertently to probably tentacle porn. What was it? I don't know. Oh no, it was the Hex Files. 
Because oh, that was yeah. the first one with the witches. Actually, oh, if, you, if you're into animated mm-hmm. porn, The Hex Files was actually a really cute one and wasn't too, like, gratuitous, I guess you could say. Meh. Anyway. It's whatever. I mean, I don't, I don't like hentai anyway, so yeah. it's not my thing. No. But nowadays, Megan is my best friend. I, I like you. Wow, really? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Wow. <laughs> Hateful. Eh, you know. Whatever. I have to have hold my own. Well, I was say I said a good thing about your Michelle, like, I am finally outside of your little shadow. That look, I'm chubby. I cast a big shadow. That was not what I meant. <laughs> rude. Oh how was that rude? That was me insulting myself. Exactly. Rude. Okay, fine. Ha ha. Uh, whatever. To Phoenix and when she moved back to Fayetteville, she uh, lived with me for a little while. And then when my family lost our home for a little bit, we lived with Megan. So we've, like, done that whole thing as adults. It's weird. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Um, um, I have, I'm pulling up my mm-hmm. thing. Um, See, you're unprepared. Well, not really. I don't know. You just turned on the recording and we just started. I guess growing up as Michelle's little sister. Hi. Um, I know I annoyed her a lot. Oh, yes. Um... We shared, I mean, growing up, we shared rooms, um, and so, of course, she could never get away from me, um, but I remember specifically two incidences where, one, I broke your doll. Bitch. Yes, I remember that. And I punched you in the nose. You did? I don't remember the reasons. You punched me in the nose because I wouldn't give you a toy. And then oh, really? the doll you broke. I don't it was think a porcelain you, doll. Yeah, it was a porcelain doll. And I don't think you did it on purpose, but you refused to apologize <laughs> because you're the devil. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah. Um, we we fought all the time mm-hmm. growing up. Um, I always wanted to be with her friends and her, and her friends did not, did like, not you. like me. Yeah, you were obnoxious. Um, I always tried to sneak into her room while she was in the room. Okay, <laughs> she, okay, our house... So we grew up in um, Amherst, Pennsylvania, this little, like, like ghetto, I don't even know, little town. It's a steel town mm-hmm. um, on the river. And I love this house. If I could take that house and put it on a plot of land, I'd be the happiest person. But anyway, um, before we bought it, it used to own be owned by two sisters. And one lived upstairs mm-hmm. and one lived downstairs. And Michelle got the attic as I her, as her attic. room. It was the best room. It was a cool room. Um, but I would always try to sneak up there. So she'd eventually put the, uh, beads on the door. Like hippie beads? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or paper, anything to, to, to make noise to let her know that I was trying to sneak up into her room. And skinny those little bitch. Those things, yeah. I would, I would like slither underneath. She was and try so not to, skinny. I would try not to. Touch You're still them. skinny, but yeah. But yeah, I always thought that was fun. Yeah, she would manage to sneak. She would ninja her way into my room. And I would just look up and there she was. And I would get mad. And then mom would yell at me for yelling at you and whatever. Just Oh, whatever. yeah, it was constant. Um, She would always uh, throw her voice <laughs> and tell me that I was an alien. That was fun. She convinced me once that I was a snake. Yes, because you, you're... My, my hand for something, like, my skin on my hand was, like, like healing. healing, you know, just, like, skin does. Mm-hmm. And she could say, oh, it's because you're a snake. Yeah. I said, well, don't you know that you shed your skin like a snake? <laughs> she panicked about that. Um, the convincing you you were adopted was a favorite of mine. That's and because everyone else agreed easy. with you. Oh, it was so easy, though, because you're... you're I'm the, the only redhead. redhead. You're the only redhead. And so, again... I would tell you, like, I was there when we went to pick you out, and I wanted a dog, but we got you instead, and... Rude. Yeah. Rude. Look, you were a nightmare to grow <clears throat> up with, so you <laughs> deserved every bit of torture that you received. Um, what else? We... I remember her um, 21st birthday. She, <laughs> she snuck... My parents allowed me to invite my friends to her 21st, and uh, again, this town that we lived in, it had a bar... On every corner for every church in that, yeah, t- in you, that little city. Amber used to be in the Guinness Book of World Records for having uh, the most churches and bars per capita for, yeah. for a town. Yeah. And there was like two bars for every block and two churches for every bar. It was ridiculous. It was it was insane. <laughs> um, but on her 20th, I remember for her birthday, um, I was allowed to invite some of my friends because... <laughs> 
Obviously, I was too young to quit drink, but she would sneak us jello shots. I did. It was great. I was the fun. best sister. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Um, so yeah, we do live in Arkansas, but mm-hmm. before that, we would take trips down here. Mm-hmm. And um, I get car sick, or not anymore. Oh but God, that was the my worst. parents would always dope me with germamine, which, by the way, they have non drowsy germamine now, and that stuff is amazing. But back before, in the day, <clears throat> it was knock you out for 12 hours, Dramamine. And little Miss Lanky McLankerton over here would <laughs> sprawl across the entire back seat. And it drove me crazy because I was claustrophobic. Hmm. And I would try to move your legs off of me <laughs> and you would grumble and then I'd get yelled at. So no matter what, anytime I got in trouble, it was your fault. It was all you. So there. Well, that's because you, you as the uh, older uh, sibling, uh, uh, as the older sibling, mm-hmm. you, you got in trouble for everything. So when I came along, my, mom and dad were so sick of trying to, I was all those an rules. angel before you. All those rules didn't really apply to me, any, God me because it. I was younger and. I was the experiment. Were, yeah, you were the, the experiment. You were the whatever. Yeah. Like, like, just let her do whatever. Then I had curfews good. and everything and chores, but I don't feel like they hounded me as much as they hounded you. For... They hounded me a lot. Yeah. Yes. I, you know, being the oldest means that you're the experimental child. And <laughs> I made her snort. <laughs> um, you're, you're the experimental child, the guinea pig, the gerbil, the whatever. And so, you know, you're the test subject and... Mom and dad practiced on me. And by the time you came around with your little attitude, they were like. They did have an attitude. Shoo, girl. <laughs> but. But. I mean. Yeah. Like we said before, I mean, once you went to college, um, I missed her. So. Mm-hmm. Probably. Well, because I was one. On a, I got to experience what a lo- only child is uh-huh. while you were in college. Sucked, didn't it? A little bit. <laughs> Everything fell on me. I couldn't get away with anything. Yep. So much. I mean, my curfew. I mean, I still had a curfew and everything, but I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> so, what kind of stuff do we like to do besides watch anime? Well, um, I, cr- I, I, oh, geez, I can't. Think. It's called cross stitching. Cross stitching. I do cross stitching. You taught me how to knit. Uh huh. Which you don't do. I know. I'm terrible. <laughs> um, she actually taught me to knit because when we were living in Arizona, we both kind of were in this. Dark, depressive state hmm. due to this job that was crappy. Yes. We're not going to name names, no, no. but. But. Working um, for online colleges is not the best thing in the world. No. But I didn't like it. Well, I was in a call center, so that didn't help. But, um, so, you know, didn't work for a while. So I hung out with Michelle a lot and she taught me to knit. And that was a good bonding. Thing, yeah. So. Uh, May and I both suffer from various types of mental illness. Uh, I have anxiety, depression. I have bipolar too, which is characterized by severe anxiety, severe depression, insomnia, and uh, hypomania. Uh, One of the things we want to discuss on our podcast is mental health because we are part of the movement that wants to end the stigma around discussing brain problems because you know you wouldn't look at somebody who has cancer and say well have you just tried going for a walk Mm -hmm. are you like what do you have to have cancer about you know you know people have actually asked me well michelle what do you have to be depressed about and it's like that's not how it works no what i have to be depressed about is that my brain doesn't produce serotonin or dopamine in Mm -hmm. the right quantities exactly and so we're going you know we're going to be very open and upfront about that. So yeah, hopefully, I mean, I'm, I'm medication, which is great. Yeah, um, I have trouble going to sleep. I can stay asleep. It's 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 going to sleep. My mind is yeah. always anxious about something. Right now, it's work, but mm-hmm. um, I won't get into that right now. <laughs> um, but so yeah, we'll 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 be talking about that. Um, we'll talk about scary movies scary because movies. we love we love to be scared. Mm -hmm. Um, even though we are absolutely gigantic babies, like, Mm -hmm. um, when we went and saw it chapter one, we held each other and screamed like little girls. I'm pretty sure people in the audience, in the theater, like looked at us. I'm pretty sure we got laughed at. (laughs) Um, 
the paranormal activity TV. movies. Oh my god, we watched. We them couldn't all go the down way. the hallway. We had to hold each other's hands to go down the hallway to go to the bathroom. Because that, that was a, that's a scary one. I think our crowning achievement though was not being able to get through Silent Hill, the video game, dude. I because can't. Megan was watching me play it, and if you're not familiar with it, um, have you ever seen Silent Hill, the movie? That movie is, is insanely scary for yes. me. But the video game is even more so because you're playing the character, but you don't get weapons. And I'm a weapons kind of girl. If I'm going to be playing a video game, I want my weapons. Give me the master sword. Give me, like, the big drill from the big daddy from Bioshock. Like, just give me something. Your weapon in Silent Hill is your cell phone. The light on your cell phone. And so we're already terrified. We're not even, like, into the Silent Hill realm of the game yet. The, the sirens went off, and I turned the game off. We were well, too scared. Well, because the character in Silent Hill, Diamond Faith Head or whatever. Pyramid, Pyramid Head. Pyramid Head. He scares the hell out of me. People cosplay as him. Yeah. I, run, I, I, I go the other way. It's scarifying. I don't scarifying. like Scarifying? Scarifying. It's my new word. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> hashtag, you heard it here first. But what I remember watching, when we were watching that game, when you got to the point where he, the sirens went off, in the game, like, everything was, like, turning different. Like, you couldn't go anywhere. Like, the, yeah. these, like, rocks were, like, in your way. Uh-huh. And we said, screw it. And she turned it off. And we couldn't do it anymore. And my my husband at the time, who is now my ex-husband. Sorry, you can't see me, but I'm glaring at the microphone in his memory. Um, huh. He just laughed at us and mm-hmm. called us wimps. And we were like, yes, 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 we, yes are. we are. Let's watch something fluffy and cute. Yep, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, something else that we do is we, we, we do, we have like video games, we do cosplay, mm-hmm. love going to conventions. Um, we used to work at the Phoenix Comic Con yeah. or whatever. It's, it's called, called Fan- Phoenix Fan Fest now. Yeah, because San Diego Comic Con sued everybody or something please don't sue us we don't have any money no please don't (laughs) but um yeah we used to do program coordinating for phoenix fan fest Mm -hmm. and that was a lot of fun it was it was fun it It was was very stressful it was a lot of work people damn it it got you into that con free yeah i met some cool people i know right it was awesome yeah so james marsters um commented (gasps) on her boobs without her knowing that uh he I'm, commented on um, the mountains as he was staring at her. Yes, I was asking him how he was enjoying Phoenix while he was signing my autograph, and he looked me up and down and he said, "The mountains are gorgeous." And I was like, "Okay." We're not I'm really sitting there just watching her, just and watching I was, this unfold, and I'm like, yeah. um. "And I was just like, okay." Starstruck, basically. Yeah, I was, I was so confused. I'm like, Phoenix doesn't really have mountains but okay and then we were walking away and Megan was like Michelle <laughs> James Marsters just hit on you and I'm like what when <laughs> how where and then she told me I was like ah! was there, there was flailing mm-hmm. and gushing and whew. that was fun yeah comic con but fun. I've touched James Marsters just and as as well as um, Nicholas Brendan mm-hmm. I, I have touched members of Buffy the Vampire Slayer I, um, and Felicia Day, because she oh, was yeah. in that show, too. Oh, yeah. Um, so some of my memories from Comic-Con that are great, because you were... Again, welcome to the them. whiplash. Because <laughs> um, you were present uh-huh. for both. Was one, I scared Felicia Day, and two, I scared Will Wheaton. Yes, it was magnificent. Oh, God. I yelled at them by accident. <laughs> yeah, um, we we were in line to meet Felicia Day, and Megan went ahead of me, and she was super cool, calm, collected, got her autograph, said thank you, went over and waited off on the side. I went up, and I was like, hey, Felicia, nice to meet you, big fan. Hey, can I get a picture with you? And Felicia was like, oh, yeah. She stood up and put her arm around me, and from the sidelines, you hear, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't say that. Okay, okay, maybe I'm being a little melodramatic you for are. the Anyway, from the sidelines, you hear, what? And and Felicia stops and she looks over at Megan. And I said, it's Felicia. That's my sister. Do you mind if she gets in this picture too? And she just laughed and said, yeah, sure. Come on over. That picture is fantastic Fantastic (laughs) because it's you and Felicia. And then there's just me on the side. Just like like a photobomb. Mm-hmm. And it's one of my favorite pictures. And then with Will Wheaton, we were walking down the hallway. Oh, God, I forgot about that. That was so funny. Oh, I embarrassed her so bad. Oh, we're walking through the... <laughs> the convention the center. The convention center. And we were obviously con workers. Mm-hmm. And 
Will Beaton was walking by and I just kind of nodded at him and he nodded at me and Megan goes, ah, it's Will Beaton! And I just... And, and he, he kind of looked at me. He looked at her and like raised an eyebrow and kind of kept walking. And I was like, oh <laughs> I was so my embarrassed. God. You were embarrassed. I was like, oh my God, Megan, I can't believe you did this. <laughs> so. Whatever. Later in the day, um, when we, we go in to get autographs and talk to them, mm-hmm. um, because I was a volunteer, um, he signed an autograph for me for yeah. free. It was awesome. Nice. Hopefully he didn't recognize. I hope. Oh, I mean, he he, there's a lot of people he, at Comic Con. He sees a lot of people at Comic Con. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, those are fun uh, times. I yeah. wonder if we're gonna have to like cut and like rearrange things so it's more flowy. I don't know. No, I mean the whole point of our podcast is that it's whiplash and we we don't stick to any one topic until we're actually going to be dedicating time to specific topics, which we will do in the future. Oh yeah, so I guess. I guess you can say what we're talking mm-hmm. about is kind of, we're going to delve more in, into it later. Mm-hmm. Um, so hopefully, hopefully you'll stick around. We'll yeah. see what happens. I mean, if nothing else, you should stick around because Megan is fantastic. She is the funniest person I know. I don't but, um, but she doesn't know that she's smart or she doesn't know that she's funny. Sorry, I, well, I ran. I, I ran. <laughs> Well, uh, one of my notes is that you're smart as hell, but super gullible. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can trick you into a lot of stuff. But, um, okay. no, Megan is super, super funny. You just have to listen for it <laughs> because she has a tendency to say shit under her breath. And it's the f- funniest damn things. <laughs> and it's... Evolution. It's not fake. TM. <laughs> we'll explain that one someday. But, um, I mean... Listen Fun to times. it because Megan's hilarious. I'm quiet. She's quiet. Obviously, if you haven't noticed, Michelle is doing a lot of the talking. I am the but more outgoing. Yeah, I'm very introverted. Two. So, so Megan, why are we doing this podcast? Um, because we're bored. Because <laughs> why not? Because why not? Um, actually, I asked you this question because I couldn't figure it out. Um, and you're like, because we're funny. Yeah, because we think we're hilarious. And it's fun and because I, I mean, I, I listen to podcasts, um, but a lot of the ones that I, I listen to are more like this, a single person talking, mm-hmm. which are great. Uh-huh. Um, but I've never come across one that's like siblings. Mm-hmm. And I think it'll be fun to do a pod- podcast of siblings who mm-hmm. are in their early thirties and we have a lot of history. <laughs> I'm in too. my mid thirties. <laughs> Early 30s here. Um, And let me tell you, I love being in my 30s. Being in my 30s has been great. Yeah. I mean, there's been some ups and downs. Oh, yeah. But I feel like my 30s are what my 20s should have been. Right. But nobody tells you this. No one tells you this. So, younger Mm -hmm. crowd. The 30s are great. Your 30s are awesome. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So, we're going to espouse the virtues of being in our 30s. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. But, um... What else? Uh, what what should you what what should people expect from us from our podcast? Um, a lot of what you're listening to now. A lot of um, randomness. A lot of a lot of um, like I said, we're gonna try and do like topics, and we're gonna go off those. <clears throat> topics. And we're gonna go off those topics. But like we're gonna do like, anime and horror, um, mental illness, mm-hmm. um, relationships. I mean, you name it, we're gonna yeah. talk about it. Um, <clears throat> and we're not professionals, God so no. please don't come here for therapy. No, because we are in therapy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yay, therapy! But hopefully, you'll yeah. pr- just just for a good time. Yeah, and you'll probably hear us arguing a bunch. We already argued once. Did we earlier? When did we argue? I don't remember. What did we argue about? I don't remember. The, did we argue? Yes. About what? Right now we are. <laughs> now, now, now. When is now? When is that going to be now? Now. Soon. Wait, soon. <laughs> <laughs> You'll hear a lot of nerdy quotes. Yay. Um, <laughs> um, you might hear one of us get slapped every now and then. Probably me. Yeah, probably Megan. I'm the violent one. Sometimes. And, you know, we, we just uh, kind of decided to start this on a whim and see what happens. Yeah. And maybe, Finally. Yeah. It took us months to, it, to we've, actually it, It's been this. like six months since we started talking well, about doing of, this. A lot of shit has been happening. It's been a... Look, 2019 kicked everybody in the nuts. It okay? really did. It, it kicked us in the nuts, then smashed in our teeth, and then went for the back door without any lube and said, bite the pillow, I'm going in dry. Oh, yeah, I just said that. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. 2019 was that guy. Yeah. But. 
go ahead. I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, well, um, I was just going to say, um, hopefully, you know, hopefully people will be interested in listening to us. And see what happens. we'll keep putting out episodes. And, you know, maybe if we get a following, like we'll start a club. If we do get followers, we're totally going to call you guys swingers. Woo-hoo! Because we're those people. Mm-hmm. And then, oh, you know what? We should totally say why we're called the Swinging Gates. Oh, yeah. We should actually explain why we're the Swinging Gates podcast because it makes no sense otherwise. It makes otherwise. no sense. No. 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 Like, even with the, the our logo. Yeah. Um, no, our logo makes no sense if you no. don't know. So, anyway, our maiden names are Gates. And uh, when we were growing up, we used to sing a lot. And our grandfather always said that we should start a band and call ourselves the, the Swinging, Swinging Gates. Gates. And so when we were deciding to do a podcast, I'm thinking of names, was it you or me that that thought of it? I think it was me. Okay. And I, I was like, so. "What if we do swinging gates to honor Papa?" Perfect. And Megan was like, "I love it. I'm on board." So that's why we're the Swinging Gates. Mm-hmm. We're not a singing group, but we're not. A, we might sing every now and then. We do tend to break out into song, mm-hmm. especially nerdy <clears throat> songs. We used mm-hmm. to do that at. at Comic Con, we started a sing along. We night. did. It was Remember, fun. we were just in the hallway and nothing was happening, so we just started singing, yeah, and singing. then we wound up with this huge crowd, and everybody was cheering. It was mm-hmm. pretty cool. Well, we had one of the like most boring jobs. We were. It was our first desk. year. It was our first year information desk. We were under these the this the stairs. It wasn't even by under the <sighs> stairs. It was over by the bathrooms later that was night it? by the escalator. Oh, that's right. Okay. Oh, and it was late at night, and there was nothing going oh, on, and we just started. <clears throat> Singing random nerdy songs. The thing about working for a convention, <clears throat> uh, volunteering for a convention, is you don't sleep well. And so we were so sleep deprived and so tired <laughs> and just kind of loopy that, and we were so bored that we just, yeah, just started singing. Um, but anyway, um, back to the why we're swinging gates. And also, um, our logo... Um, is, I'm hoping it'll get better. I mean, I just... I think I it's just, pretty freaking cool. It'll get better. It's But awesome. it's based on a gazebo that my papa built for my wedding. Because you're spoiled as hell. Hell yeah. This man tells her that it... Like, whenever she got engaged, he said, you know, if you come home to Arkansas and get married on the farm, I'll build you a gazebo. And I'll even build it out of cedar so it doesn't kill you. Cedar she's from the property. Cedar from the property because Megan's allergic to pine. Mm-hmm. And I'll be damned. They built her the damn gazebo. Yep, I called Papa and I said, hey, Papa, um, how do you feel about me getting married on the farm? And If you do it, I'll build you a gazebo. Yeah, and he, he built, did. And, did. and it's still there. And well, it's yeah, still, it is. I mean, I got married for the second time. On the uh, gazebo. On mm-hmm. Our names are up there on little plaques. Mm-hmm. Made for some great pictures. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. weddings. All right, this feels like a good place to end. Thank you so much for joining us for our first episode. We hope you enjoy listening to us and tune in next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.